can we just get into the skin real quick you know I want to make sure y'all see you know the school i attend the johnson c smith university in charlotte north carolina home of the golden bulls hold high the golden blue because y'all know me i love to talk i love to sit in front of a camera and just talk but i really wanted to get into a college advice video because it's my last year first of all i can't even say it it's literally my last year of college and i'm just like Yo, the last time I was in school, a random Thursday in March, you know, having a grand old time on the block, spending it with my friends and my peers, and got the email that you have to leave campus due to coronavirus. I want my rounds, Miss Rona. I really do. I wanted to take this time to give advice to all of the incoming freshmen, underclassmen, as well as the seniors who are in college. I just want to take this time to say if you are in college, or even attending college, first and foremost, congratulations, because this is a second milestone that you want to take on and that will be a journey. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, a lot of people say, if you didn't like high school, then you're not gonna like college, or if you liked high school, you're gonna love college. I just wanted to take this time to congratulate you because you are entering a new life to where you are going to learn, you are going to grow. Just take it in, congratulations, take it day by day. Do not rush it because promise me, I wanted this to be over but being in a pandemic and doing college in a pandemic yeah time flew literally a sophomore that random thursday i was a sophomore first semester sophomore to a senior starting off in this video i don't know where it's gonna take me i want to stick to you know keeping it formal and real like i want to be realistic with y'all <laughs> What's good, sweetie? It's your girl, Kiana Janae, and we are back with another banger. Uh, I'm not going to keep saying purr the whole video. Like, I can't sit here and do that, Kiana. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Kiana Janae. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back, sweetie. What's good, sweetie? D, what's the claim number? All right, Kiana. Um, <laughs> Welcome to my college advice video. I don't want this to be a lecture. So I just want to give five underclassmen advice as well as five senior advice. The first piece of advice that I want to give to the underclassmen is come into college with an open mind. Even if you're going to a HBCU or a PWI, just come into college knowing that you're going to meet so many new people. Everybody is not the same and it could just be like high school all over again like you just want to go in with the open mind saying okay i want to get to know this person but i kind of want to not spill too much you know or if somebody's coming up to me and they're spilling too much to me it's just like i don't want to you know that you take this the wrong way but relax you know you're a freshman you're underclassman in college like we have so many new people that we have to meet so just tone it down a bit tone it down for example for me i had to go into school with an open mind because i was shy and i really didn't know how to talk to people if that makes sense because honestly i can do this all day i really can but if i know you to the point where i feel comfortable around you i'm not going to stop talking in college it's so scary freshmen for example y'all have like orientation like y'all try to mix and mingle with your class because at the end of the day like that's your class y'all are going to be together for four years so they try to make sure that y'all stick together and know each other so y'all can become friends for the long run for me it wasn't hard because i wanted to just do so much and i also knew that nobody knows me here and that's a good thing about college if you go to college near home pretty sure you're gonna see some people that you went to high school with but if you don't go to college in your hometown or in your home state you can start fresh, sweetie. My second advice for the underclassmen is whatever opportunity that somebody gives you, take it. What I mean by that is a professor or one of the student leaders can come up to you and say, hey, I think you're really good for this position, pays this much, or this is a free opportunity that they're looking for students to have. I really want you to be a part of it, or I want you to contribute something to this organization. Take it, take it, take it. Because learning from personal experience, because I was the type of person to just say yes to everything, I had a lot of opportunities come my way that I'm still, you know, taking up now as well as seeing like the different career paths that I can go in. So definitely saying yes to things that you, let me make this clear, 
that you would like to do. If you don't have that relationship yet with somebody who can look out for you, I know my university has career centers as well as student leadership organizations. So just ask, don't be afraid to ask questions because that's going to be your life right there. Resources, that's what I'm saying. Use your resources and take on the opportunities because at the end of the day, they're going to come in handy. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You know, my first month wasn't too bad, but I was just afraid. You might think your question is a little off, but you could be saving the pressure of somebody who wants to ask that question. This is the third tip. I find it so funny because this was me really in high school and college. Don't buy unnecessary things. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know my mama is watching this video and we didn't really necessarily buy unnecessary things. We just bought so much notebooks. First two days, cause college is, classes are by day. So like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you have a set schedule. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you have a set schedule. Really your first two days of school is Monday and Tuesday. Just honestly bring a computer and bring a notebook. The first day you get your syllabus for your class and the professors tell you what materials that you will need. You know, the second day, the same thing. This comes in with the next tip I wanted to give you. Just staying organized schedule my calendar my planner i color code everything because i know in my school like i do so much like student leader wise different organizations that i'm a part of work study classes i'm a social work major shout out to all the social work majors out there period we doing it big all i know is that i have a lot on my plate and it's only 24 hours in a day and i cut off after nine mm, you're lucky if it's nine. I shut down after 9 p.m. because my brain has to focus. I'm not really a night person. I'm more of a morning person. And listen, your body needs rest. So make sure you're just, your just time management is on point and your organization skills because you are going to find that no one is going to remind you when it's when your work is due, what time you have to get up what time um such and such opens like you have to hold yourself accountable to know i'm basically an adult and it depends on your professor some might remind you some may not but it's up to you to honestly remember if you don't they like to go ahead and put that zero in or knock you down 10 points per how many days it's late so be on time get a planner even if you have to set alarms in your phone i know i do that i think this is the last advice that i can give you and it kind of sums up your whole social your mental health like all of that mama girl mama boys stay healthy that's it that's all stay healthy you, you hear me how i say it with me stay healthy finals come on relationships oh relationships <laughs> intake on certain things we know what y'all been doing in college y'all seen grownish um <laughs> You know, your eating habits, your mental health, stay healthy because a lot of times college can get overwhelming. And just a quick little story time. I remember I had to go onto my campus pretty early because I was in a program where it helped me kind of get into my college life. And well, we weren't even with half of our class. Long story short, people were getting into a relationship with the 40 kids that were on campus. This is not even a third of who is going to be on campus and y'all already trying to get into relationships what are y'all still child anyway people was fighting over relationships people business was out there left and right mind you this is we, we are in august. we're in the end of july school's about to start in august y'all are doing too much we haven't even really started our real classes yet and y'all already doing this no people was getting into the wrong stuff this is not what you do in college that's what i'm saying stay healthy know yourself and know your worth because you do not want to get kicked out of college and waste all that money over some petty stuff what are y'all doing don't do that freshman underclasses don't do that and even if you do that stuff not judging because everybody goes through it but just stay healthy and remember why you are in school oh i'm not getting emotional i can't get emotional to my college seniors oh my goodness we did it first of all pat yourself on the back Round of applause, take that shot because listen, we did all of this in a global pandemic. That's it, that's all, that's the tweet. We did this in a global pandemic. I'm not gonna hold you. I had times where I said, oh, trust me, if I wasn't in college and I was in high school doing this, dropped out, no care in the world, <laughs> dropped out. 
college i was literally sitting at my computer daily like i can't do this it was cute you know after we left first semester as a sophomore junior year first semester all right now we gotta be back second semester junior year junior year flew by girl this ain't for me we have to go face to face senior year i'm not even gonna hold you if you ask me what i learned throughout <laughs> don't even ask me don't even ask me they're my next oh my goodness we really did it through a global pandemic and i don't care what nobody says because i'm legit you cannot tell me otherwise seniors we did this congratulations because it was hard i'm not even gonna hold you it was hard the first piece of advice that i'm going to give you for your senior year and it might not be advice you might already be doing this but it's literally take pictures of everything videos of everything because at the end of the day that clock is gonna move and pretty soon it's gonna be welcome week classes homecoming breaks thanksgiving breaks you know winter break spring break graduation it's gonna go by so quick take videos take snapchats of everything it's just crazy to think that we missed a year I just remember everything about my school because one thing about it, two things for certain, you make your college experience. Your school doesn't make it, you as the individual make it. So if you wanna have those parties, those different organizations, those different networking, go to your student leadership board, like ask for them, be a part of it so you can you know, bring the excitement to your peers because you are going to make your college experience. I just remember sitting in my room thinking, I miss my school so much, like I miss being on the block with my friends, I miss, just going to the cafe, sitting there talking to people. I just missed going to the library. Like I love the library. That was my home. I just missed the little things. And watching my Snapchats, it made me sad because y'all know how Snapchat does the memories. It made me so sad because the memories would pop up and it's like, oh my gosh, like I need to be on campus now. Like I need to be there right now. Don't be afraid to, you know, hold your phone out and vlog because that's what I'm doing. I'm going into campus YouTuber. We are going to make it to 1K. Like, I want a thousand followers by the end of my first semester. I'm going to be grinding. My second piece of advice for the seniors I know my school, we have to do a senior investigation paper. I'm so happy, y'all. I joined McNair, which is a graduate program to help with the research of my choice in graduate school. And my research proposal that I've been working on, I can use that as my SIP. Cause I hate writing papers and I know with my major social work, I've been writing papers since day one and I'm not gonna hold you, I, I can't. So with that piece of advice, I'm going to say, if you have a semester long project, go ahead and start it on the day that it is assigned to you. Do you hear me? Start on that project, girl. What are you waiting on? Do it. Your senior year, every little thing is going to happen. Oh, you want to go to the cafe with such and such? Oh, they having a party over here. You want to go such and such? Oh, Uptown Charlotte, they having a little get together for all the HBCU seniors. Let's go. Okay, you gonna go, but that paper still do. And you need to sign that paper yet. What you doing? Even if it's literally spending an hour to 30 minutes on an assignment that you have, that is like a, a long project to do, it's going to count. And you're going to thank yourself later like, oh, I didn't finish it, but I started it. I broke it down into pieces. I started it so I can still have fun as a senior. Advice number three is to take in your friendships. Savor those moments because a lot of your college friends, and I'm blessed to say that I still have my college friends from freshman year. Journey of making college friends your first year for me was just, it wasn't like to the extreme, I would say, but I wasn't, I was, mm -mm. You mean I'm not even gonna talk about it, but I don't even know how to describe it, but it wasn't too, too much. I'm still cool with a lot of people that I met freshman year and we're like this. It's like literally like a handful and that's okay. You come to realize that everybody is not on the same level as you. The friends that I have now, they have goals for themselves for one. They know what they wanna do. We all have the same goals and we like feed off of each other. So like if one person is like, I wanna go to the library, I wanna get some work done. Boom, we all go into the library to get work done. What they say about college is true. You meet your second family, like you meet your bridesmaids, your groomsmen's, your best man, your maid of honor, like you meet the godparents of your children. You meet all of those people in college. So, oh, I love y'all. And the last piece of advice that I want to give the college seniors, 
I really can't say too much because we did everything. I'm gonna keep saying that we did we did our schooling through a whole pandemic. <laughs> but I do want to say, um, if you're going to graduate school, go ahead and start applying for scholarships because there are scholarships out there that cater to graduate schools, as well as using your resources. So if you're not going to graduate school and you're going to go ahead and go into your field or your degree, go ahead and make those connections on campus. You know those professors, those academic advisors who already know like you as a person and who can vouch for you when it's time to get that job or go to that graduate school of your choice take it all in senior year about to be back on camp we about to shut stuff this ain't nothing about a smith thing that's all that's all hey hey to the window to the wall to the wall hey i said this ain't nothing but a smith thing that's all that's all that's all i truly 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 hoped you all enjoyed this advice video i know it was kind of everywhere but this was honestly the advice that i wanted to give to the freshmen the underclassmen as well as to the seniors because at the end of the day we're going back to college and everybody's experience is different so i just wanted to give you my piece of advice my experience that i lived through but also if this video did not apply to you i'm so sorry just take whatever you can in and just know that everyone's college experience is different, but just always go into college with an open mind knowing that it can go, it can't go. All in all, if you are going back to school, I do want you to stay safe, stay comfortable, have a good college experience because you never know when a global pandemic will hit again. Get vaccinated, sweeties, <laughs> period. Like I said before, make sure you like, comment, and please, please, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers by the end of my first semester as a senior. Make sure you subscribe. And I'm telling y'all, make sure you are subscribed because August will be the time where you see what we do at Smith, honey. Thank you beautiful people for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye, sweeties.